Today I had intended to release a video about Zinch's servant of mischief, the Changeling, but something caught my eye on the Steam Workshop that I just had to cover. As many would know, I have a love of the Dowie, their grumbling and their grudges. Well today, one of those grudges can be wiped from the book, as Chaos Roby has released the magnificent Dwarf Thunderbarge. For those not familiar with the lore, the Thunderbird is a giant floating fortress that is held aloft by massive air tanks. It's not too dissimilar from the real world Zeppelin, but armed to the teeth. These behemoths contain cannons, swivel guns, and are able to drop a copious amount of bombs on the enemies of the Dowie. Unfortunately for the dwarves, only a handful of Thunderbarges were ever constructed, and it's hard to find engineers insane enough or drunk enough to fly on such dangerous airships. Among the most famous and third of the line of airships constructed in Zufbar is the Wrath of Thunder, built under the keen eye of the engineer Sven Hasselfrat. The Wrath of Thunder has served in several battles against the orc tribes of the World's Edge Mountains. The most well known of the Thunder Barges though is the Spirit of Grogni, the brainchild of the somewhat slightly mad Master Engineer Malachi Mackison. The airship was the second designed by Malachi, with the first, Undestructible, ending in disaster soon after launch, as it catastrophically exploded, killing all aboard. This led to Malachi's ejection from the Engineering Guild, and ultimately his deciding to take the Slayer Oath. But he didn't abandon his engineering past, and continued to create new inventions culminating in the pride of the Dowie air fleet, the Spirit of Grugni. The vessel has proved its worth on numerous occasions, even taking the mighty Gotrex and Felix on several dangerous adventures. In-game, the mod allows the construction of Thunder Barges at the Tier 5 engineering building, giving the player an excellent reason to start down that path. As the barges are so rare in the lore, they come with a unit cap, and each Tier 5 engineering building raises their cap by one. Costing 2,000 gold with an upkeep of 500 gold, it's certainly not cheap, but it's worth it just to see it dwarf everything on the battlefield. No pun intended. On the battlefield, the Thunder Barge can fire while moving and is unbreakable. It comes stocked with a lot of ammunition and a range on its cannon of 440 meters and a missile strength of 213. It won't win any sprints, as it floats along at a leisurely 40 speed, but with the high range, it doesn't need to be in the thick of the action, and it's best kept away from those pesky missile units looking to bring it down. While the Thunder Barge is intended for use from afar, you can even engage in melee, and watching your barge descend on top of a unit of spearmen can be quite satisfying, but don't expect it to fare too well if you do this, as its melee defense is practically non-existent. 
As if the Thunder Barge model wasn't enough, there was also a regiment of renown version, the aforementioned Wrath of Thunder. This version comes with a slightly higher missile strength at 258, but the range and ammunition remain the same. One added bonus to the Wrath of Thunder is the terror it causes to nearby enemies. This regiment of renown version costs 2,600 gold to recruit, with an upkeep of 550. Both versions can be upgraded through the Dwarf Lord Redline skills. Tradition and Innovation provides additional ammunition and range, while Dowie Firepower provides missile resistance, missile strength, and reload time reduction for units rank 7 or above. However, even though the mod page mentions technologies, I could not see any of the later technologies that affect gyrocopters and gyro bombers having been changed. Perhaps that's for a future update. So where is the spirit of Grugni I hear you say? Well, the icing on this dwarven cake is Malachi Makaisen himself as a legendary hero, who can be rescued from his dull job at the Nuln Gunnery School via a short quest. Malachi comes with the Spirit of Grugni as a mount option, as one would rightly expect. Malachi comes with the standard engineering skills, and at this stage doesn't seem to have any unique upgrades for Thunder Barges. Hopefully, this will be expanded upon. As with all of Chaos Robbie's releases, the mod is truly impressive, but the acclaim for the model should be attributed, it seems, to CJ Soldier 1331. Apart from the possibly missing technologies mentioned before, one last disappointment is the lack of bombs as an ability for the Thunder Barges. I would have expected it to come with a full complement of explosives, just like the Gyro Bomber, though perhaps it was decided that would make the Gyro Bomber redundant in game. In case I've come across as a bit negative, I just want to say that this mod is absolutely top notch. The model and textures and its feel in game are all fantastic, and any Dowie fan who dares to ignore it shall be added to the book. For those who enjoy my own Hammer of Grugni mod, I intend to create a sub-mod to incorporate the Thunder Barges into the upgrades provided by the different Lord mechanics. This should hopefully be on the workshop in the coming days. I hope you enjoyed this look at the new Dwarf Thunder Barges mod, and I highly recommend checking it out. Before we go, I'd like to announce the winners of the Guess Who community post from last Wednesday. For those who may not be aware, each Wednesday I have started posting three images of units or characters from Warhammer 2. They are shown in silhouette, and the community can choose to test their knowledge and guess who they might be. The prize, apart from satisfaction that you know your Warhammer units, is a mention on the video the following Monday. So, to the results. Congrats to Sam Cadwalada, who got it mere minutes after I had uploaded the post. Also, well done to Memes of Warhammer, Logan White and Liam Cullen for answering correctly. A special mention to Postwar Prior, whose response was certainly the funniest, claiming that he could see his boss, a Karen, and most interesting of all, a special appliance that belongs to his girlfriend. Thanks to all who participated. This video was brought to you with the aid of my patrons, thanks to Hot Apple Pie, Alexander, and Solarith Magnetar. I'm Grey Tiger. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.